So you're moving to Baltimore, but don't want to live in the city. In this video, I'm going to give you my five favorite neighborhoods in the suburbs you got to check out. And we're getting started right now. What is up, everyone? It's Adam Taylor with the Relentless Home Group of EXP Realty right here in the Baltimore metro area. Hey, if this is your first time to our channel, we do tons and tons of videos all about Baltimore each and every week. We talk about living here, working here, commuting, all the fun things we got going on, everything about Baltimore. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below right here. Give the notification bell a click while you're there as well. That way you're updated and notified when we put out another video just like the one you're watching today. Now, hey, I've got to be honest with you. Right now, we're receiving so many phone calls, text messages, and emails of people looking to relocate to Baltimore, and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about making a move to Baltimore or even in town, do me a favor. Reach out to us. Give us a call. Shoot us a text. Send us an email or fan us down with the smoke signal. However you need to get a hold of us, we've got your back when moving right here to the Baltimore metro area. Today, we're talking all about the suburbs, we're going outside of the city limits and I'm gonna give you my five favorite communities you must check out when looking to make a move right here to Baltimore. Now make sure you stick around for the last one because honestly, it's my personal favorite and more importantly to you, it's where you're gonna be able to get the biggest bang for your buck when buying a home. All right, so number five is Columbia. Columbia is located in Howard County which is just southwest of Baltimore City. You're gonna be able to find condos, single family homes, townhomes, and so much more right there in Columbia. Now, here's a little history lesson about Columbia. It was actually designed over 50 years ago as an experiment to see if people from various backgrounds could come together to live comfortably in peace and style within a, a community. And here we are 50 years later and the community is one of my favorites. The cool part about it is there's 10 distinct villages all throughout Colombia that mobile professionals absolutely love. Cool things about Colombia, you've got access to swimming pools, tennis courts, and shopping is just like basically right out your doorstep. Another thing to check out, if you're a music lover, you've got to check out Meriwether Post Pavilion. Meriwether brings in some of the biggest name acts in the music industry each and every year. It's an outdoor facility that's only used during the spring and summer months, but I'm telling you, you're gonna love being so close to that great venue. While you're there, head next door to the Columbia Mall and check out the main event. So the main event is like a Dave and Buster's type place. So if you've got little ones or if you're just a kid at heart and you wanna go in there and have a ton of fun, you need to do it. They've got laser tag, they've got uh, arcade games, skee-ball, bowling, and tons of food for you to eat. Now to wrap this all up and put a bow on it, the median home price in Columbia is a little over 350,000 at $358,610. So if you're looking for affordability, you've got to check out Columbia. So number four is Severna Park. Severna Park is actually located in Anne Arundel County, which is just south of Baltimore City. Now, the things that attract people to Severna Park are this. Number one, the schools. The schools are absolutely amazing and some of the highest rated in the state. There's many blue ribbon schools. Make sure you do your school research, go out there and check that out. But they are very highly rated right in the Severna Park area. The second thing is for all of you water lovers. If you're a boater or a fisherman, kayaking, Severna Park is a great spot for you because it sits right off of the Severn River. The Severn River actually feeds right into the Chesapeake Bay here in Maryland. Now, who's moving to Severna Park? We're seeing an influx of young families that are moving out of the city down to Severna Park, you know, when they find out they're having a child or, you know, already have one and they're looking for some more room to expand. Now, the drawback of Severna Park is this. It's pretty pricey to live in the area. The average home price is almost 550000 and with that, you're gonna be able to get a decent sized home. If you went out a little further away from the area, you're probably gonna be able to get something bigger, but if living on the water and great schools are a priority to you, you've gotta check out Severna Park. 
So for number three, we're actually going to head north. We're going up to the Lutherville slash Timonium area. It's located just outside of Baltimore, uh, right at the intersection of Interstate 83 and 695. What's great about Timonium that I absolutely love is there are pockets of Timonium where you actually feel like you're sort of in the country. Very uh, rural setting. And as soon as you turn out of your street, boom, you've got all the conveniences that we need today. All of your shopping is very close. Schools are very close. Uh, your churches, doctor's office, everything's right there. Towson Town Mall, which is a pretty popular mall in the area, is just a short 10 minute drive south of Timonium. A great thing that you also want to check out uh, as far as commuting goes is the light rail service actually has a stop right in Timonium. Uh, the neat thing about the light rail is it actually runs from Hunt Valley all the way down through Baltimore City down to the BWI airport. So whether you need a ride to the Orioles baseball game or a Ravens football game or even to catch a flight out of town, you've got the opportunity to ride the light rail, which is great. The last thing is Timonium is very affordable. The median home price is just a hair over $385,000 as of this time of this recording. And you can get pretty much anything you want there. You can get condos, townhomes, and single family homes. So if that sort of fits what you're looking for, make sure you check Timonium out. Number two, we're heading north. We're heading up to the Hereford or Moncton area, which is located just north of Timonium that I just spoke to you about. So what's great about that area, if you need space, acre, multiple acres of land, and you want to put a good size house on it, this is your spot. Now, the challenge is it's a little more pricier up there. The median home price is actually right at about 500000 But you have to consider the only thing that you can build in that area are single family homes. And that's why it's priced the way it is. Uh, there are agricultural restrictions on the land, which prevents developers coming in and putting up townhomes and condominiums. Some other great things about Hereford are very close to Pennsylvania. So you can buzz right up to Pennsylvania in a matter of a blink of an eye, but also be down in Baltimore within 20 to 30 minutes. The schools are very well regarded in Hereford. You also have access to the NCR trail, which is an old converted railroad. That's a flat trail from the Hereford area all the way down to the Cockeysville area, which is located just below uh, Timonium. Now, one challenge or good thing, and the kids' ears are gonna perk up with this one if you're watching this with kids uh, that are attending school. The Hereford area is notorious for getting a little bit more winter weather than the rest of the Baltimore County, as it is situated a, a bit further north. Therefore, you'll often see Baltimore County Public Schools delay opening up schools in what they call the Hereford zone by two hours, or the Hereford zone may be closed because of inclement weather further north. So, you know, if you've got family, if you've got kids, keep that in mind when taking a look at any homes in the Hereford zone. But it's a great spot, you've gotta check it out. My friends, we are at number one, and number one on my list is the community of Bel Air. Now, Bel Air is located just a short 30 to 35 minute drive northeast of Baltimore up Interstate 95. What's great about Bel Air is you've got your pick of whatever you want in a community. You've got condos, single family homes, townhomes, 55 and over communities. Uh, if you want a large farm, you can find it right in Bel Air. The average home price, or I should say median home price, is a little over 340,000. And you're gonna be able to get significantly bigger home for your dollar when you look at purchasing in Bel Air. In addition to that, the property taxes are quite a bit less than the other areas that I've mentioned in this video. The last and most important thing that makes Bel Air number one on my list is the community itself, the people that get together. Here's why. There are so many events that happen right in the town of Bel Air that you're gonna love. You've got to check out the farmer's market that is on Saturday mornings in Bel Air. You've got 4th of July celebration that is out of this world with the parade and the fireworks and the entire day has so many festivities. You've got a parade with Santa uh, in December. 
you've got the mom and pa trail that leads to Annie's playground, which is probably one of the largest playgrounds that I've ever seen in my life. It's absolutely amazing. So you've got to check that out. And for those of you that are really into nature, just a short drive north of Bel Air, you've got Rock State Park. So you can rock climb, you can have and see one of the best views in Maryland from the King and Queen seat, uh, which is a, a rock structure that basically you can see all of Harford County. I, I kid you not. You've got to get there to, to check it out. And you can also do some fishing there uh, as well. So my friends, we've come to an end. Those are my five favorite neighborhoods or I should say communities in the suburbs. So if you'd like more information on any of these communities, do me a favor. As I told you in the beginning, you've got to reach out to us. You've got to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or even fan us down with that smoke signal and let us know what we can do to help you make your move to the Baltimore area. Until the next time, we'll talk to you soon. Wait, wait, before you go, check out these other videos about Baltimore that I think you're going to find really useful.